Good morning, everybody. Today is November 14th, Wednesday. Looking for a trade, looking for good setups here. Let's see what we got in Forex Factory. FOMC member speaks today at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Oh, and Fed Chair Powell speaks today, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. That's high impact. Everything seems to be a little on the overextended side. We're gonna wait for consolidation and then hopefully we can get into a trade. We got a signal there, still not gonna trade it yet. Really like it here, but I need to see some good momentum to the upside here. And the play is off. The play is off here on SPY. Besides this awesome move here on Apple, just nothing really happening. Um, I'm sure you could have gotten in on SPY here, but nothing would have told you to actually get in. Markets are just not quite moving. Alrighty guys, back again. I had to pause. I was not doing much. I was just doing uh, some back testing really. And I'm liking the uh, setup on SPY here. Let's see if we can get a setup going on to the downside. But I really like uh, SPY if it can uh, hold these levels. Um, in other words, consolidate and then probably move lower. That's what I'm hoping for. That's the move that I'm looking for guys. I'm looking for a move lower in the markets. If we do, I'll be trading the 273 puts maybe. Maybe the 272.50 puts. I kind of already don't like it after this uh, big one minute candle here. Big move up. Let's see what happens here. But I'm not liking it here. We can stay here. Hopefully underneath the uh, 10 EMA here. Maybe we can get something going on. Alrighty, come on baby. Let's see what we can do here. 272.50 puts. I'm looking to buy two. Still got a little bit uh, for it to go. Let's see, let's see. I'm liking it here. I went ahead and bought two. Bought them at 209. Ooh, got in a little high. But it's okay. I went ahead and sold. Bought in at 209 and sold at 217. Look at that right there. Where are we at now? 217, 27250. Yeah, okay. Cool. Made a small trade there. I'm good. I'm happy with that. Um, I could have stuck it out a little bit longer, but it that was that was a good setup right there. It was a very, very good setup. It was very quick. Did I really sell at the high here? Yeah, I sold at the high. That's pretty cool. So I made eight cents on that trade there on the actual option price. And that's uh, that's good here. It's probably gonna keep going um, lower, SPY is. It looks really, really good, but it went up so fast, how could I not take profit, guys? They're already back down to 210 by 214. This is gonna be a this is gonna go a lot lower it seems like it looks it has every making of it making a, a great move to the downside I'm not I'm not in this uh, move anymore but I have a feeling that it's just absolutely gonna dump here there it goes again even though I already made my money I'm still rooting for the option price to get up there to around the uh, 230 range and there we go 223 225 226. 228 on the ask there we go 231 on the ask there it is perfect 229 that's the move that i was waiting for i i saw it i saw it i saw it i saw it um you had to endure a little bit of sideways action on the one minute chart but that that's the trade guys that's the trade that's the trade that I've been talking uh, about the last couple of weeks. This is awesome. That would have been my 10% at around 230. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. Look at that. 234. Just to show my trade again. I was in it for a minute. I bought at 209, sold at 217. I made a little bit of money, got my account. Uh, 575 I'm just glad that I traded it I'm glad that I traded it and didn't just watch it walk past me so it's all about the setups guys it's 
all about the setups. What's going on everybody? This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. I traded today, I placed myself in a good trade, profitable trade, and I was up, I was out, I'm good, I'm happy with that. Those puts that I actually traded from 209 to 217 end up go going as high as $3.42. I gotta give myself some credit here. Um, I'm finding some really good entries. Big thank you to all my subscribers, all my viewers. I've been getting flooded with emails, um, very supportive emails, um, advice. I'm getting advice left and right. I'm hearing you guys. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys. Really, really, truly from the bottom of my heart. I, I didn't realize like how many smart people are actually watching my videos, watching my channel. Uh, it means a lot to me, really. I can't, I, seriously, the ideas that you guys have given me are just phenomenal. Uh, I'm gonna try to incorporate some of those ideas into my trading, so bear with me. I'm gonna get back to each and every one of you guys between being a father and, and having a part-time job, um, that's you know a big task and stuff keeps me busy. And then I tr I, I sort of put uh, trading in the, the stock market in there in the uh, mix, and it just fills up my day. But it's good, it's good, good stuff. So thank you so much. Keep those emails uh, coming. Uh, you know, comment down below your thoughts um, about my videos, about my content. Uh, do you want more of this? Do you want more of that? I would greatly appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If this is your first time uh, tuning in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that. And let's keep finding these trading setups. That is my trade. I'm gonna continue only trading those setups for the time being. And I'm growing my accounts. I'm, I'm in the green. I have more green days than red days. I've only had two red days in the past three weeks. So I'm really proud of that. I know that's gonna change the more that I trade. So, but I'm just gonna stick to my trading strategy, stick to my plan and follow through. Um, I need to get better on my exits like always. So thank you everybody so much. Let's try to find more setups tomorrow. Let's make some money. Thank you so much everybody.